What's up, everybody? Um, good morning. I am. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna announce something here in a minute with uh, one of my friends. Obviously, uh, she's one of the baddest women to ever do it. UFC Hall of Famer, and uh, literally changed not just women's MMA but women's sports. She really doesn't need an introduction. Ronda Rousey. Hey, what you. up, Dana? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We're actually, you caught us in the middle of a, a, a mobile quarantine road trip. <laughs> mobile quarantine road trip. How does that work? Uh, well, Kyle here is uh, spraying uh, alcohol and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he just went to go get, get coffee like it was an expedition to the moon. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we have like all of our food and all of our everything in this RV. We've been sleeping in it, showering in it, and uh, uh, yeah, this is completely unrelated to what you're going to be talking about. But I have like a 160 pound borble that has no dogs its age, and it gives zoomies and like runs around the house like in sprints. And I've had six knee surgeries, so I can't handle that shit. So uh, we're going to go get him a girlfriend. I'm picking up a, a dog and uh, some other stops or whatever. But yeah. We're going on a puppy road trip. <laughs> yeah, what kind of dog are you getting? It's called a Canis Panther. It's um, it's a it looks like a really big Doberman. Um, it's like a mix between a Doberman, a Namstaff, a Lab, and a Great Dane. Very Pretty cool. cool. Yeah, it's cute. I don't well, know. Congrats. Well, let, we're, we're not. <laughs> let's talk about. Uh, so this Saturday, um, live from Fight Island. Robert Whitaker and Darren Till are fighting. Then we come back to Las Vegas August 1st. And the main event was supposed to be Holly Holm versus Irene Aldana. That is being postponed to later, uh, later on this year. And now the main event for that fight is Derek Brunson versus Edmund Shabazian, who you manage Edmund. Yeah. So I thought it would be fun to uh, announce this with you and talk about it. So Derek Brunson is 20 and seven. He's an all American wrestler. He's one of the most explosive strikers in the middleweight division, 11 wins by knockout. Edmund Shabazian is a freak of nature. This kid is 11 and no undefeated. He's still only 22 years old. Um, he's won all of his fights by first round knockout, except for one. <clears throat> 10 of his 11 wins by finish, nine by knockout, one by submission, and he has five wins in under a minute. And he's a great kid. That's my fighter. That's right. Yeah, little Ed, he's always been, he's been special. You know, we, always, we call him like Neo. He's the one. And like, he is that first of the first generation of kids that only did MMA. He was obsessed with MMA when I was uh, training at the gym. He was actually my uh my like throwing dummy for my carmouche open workout he was 15 years old he was like still like bigger than me um but you know he was like one of my training partners and you know he learned arm bars from me he was getting beat up by me and he was in the you know the the gym at a very pivotal time and him and his brother would just like be like show up with with, with like 10th planet books and like completely like obsessed i've never seen like kids more obsessed with MMA. And that was like the first generation of that, you know, like I came up in, you know, judo and other things and MMA became a thing that everyone else had to adjust to when they were already experts at something else. And little Ed, which we called him little, but now he's gigantic. <laughs> he is the first generation of those kids that MMA is all he, he did. There is no style that he had to um, conform into MMA with. He, MMA is his style and he um he uh, is like it's not like he's just mediocre at everything like he is just fucking awesome at everything like this kid started off like destroying everyone at grappling tournaments and destroying everyone boxing tournaments and then when he started like doing MMA it was just a no-brainer like we assumed that he was going to break John Jones' record as the youngest uh, UFC champion and now like a global pandemic and I might slow that progress down a little bit for that exact uh, record, but not much. We, we were only me. off for like six weeks or something like that. Yeah, I know, which is insane, but it just speaks to the inevitability of uh, his championship reign. Like, it's not if, it's when. This kid is special. He is one 
in a generation and I know what the fuck I'm looking at and you know what you're looking at and it's um it's inter it's interesting to finally be in this time where everyone else is starting to take notice you know because he's uh he's such a, a sweet and quiet kid but yeah, man he's a fucking killer you know and when beast. people actually take a moment to watch him they will never be able to forget him and this is the biggest test of his career Brunson's number eight he's number nine and obviously a win puts him in you know Kelvin Gaslam just lost then you're looking at Gasolum, Till, Romero, Hermanson, Cannoneer. I mean, once if he can get through Brunson and he wins this fight, it's straight killers after that. That, that it, 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 he's he's coming into the you know he's he's looking at breaking into the top five, which is very very hard to do in the UFC. I mean, I really think it's not if it's when every person, every heavyweight professional heavyweight I've seen sparring with this kid when he was sixteen were like, who the fuck is this kid? Like. Everyone has trouble with him. Everyone underestimates him. And I think that's a huge advantage that he has, but it's not one that he's going to have for very long because people are going to realize what a force to be reckoned with that he is, but it's not an advantage that he needs because he doesn't need people to see him coming or not. He's coming regardless. Boom. Boom. Well, there, you, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The new main event, Saturday, August 1st, is uh, Brunson versus Shabazian. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time with me to announce this. We miss you. I love you. Uh, and uh, I have a safe you. trip. Uh, I'm really glad we got to do this. We need to do this more often. We should. Exactly. All right. Well, go keep conquering the world and uh, planting flags on Pine Island. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. Have a great day. Have a, have a safe trip. Thank you. Talk to you Bye. later. Bye.